Hello and welcome to this FPL Game Week 8 wildcard edition of FPL Hacks where I look at the players that you should choose in your 15-man wildcard squad for Game Week 8. Let's get into it. Starting with the goalkeepers then, I try and spend as little money as possible in this position to free up funds elsewhere in the squad. So looking at the goalkeepers that started the season at 4.5 million, the one that stands out to me at the moment is Aaron Ramsdale. He looks like he's nailed down that spot in Arsenal's goalkeeper spot now and he's in excellent form. Three clean sheets in the last four games and in that period Arsenal have conceded just 10 shots on target. Only Manchester City have a better record in that run. For your backup goalkeeper, I would choose Watford's Ben Foster. He's the only 4 million goalkeeper that's getting some game time at the moment. It may not last forever, but it's helpful having a substitute on the bench to come in just in case Aaron Ramsdale doesn't feature for one week. Looking at the defence now then, there's a lot of defences that are really performing this season and some excellent attacking options in there. The best attacking defender in the game right now is Liverpool's Trent Alexander-Arnold and if he's available for game week 8, he is a must-have in your wildcard teams. He's currently ranked second for successful crosses among all players with 16 and third for key passes with 21, registering four big chances created, which is second of all players. He is doing better the most midfielders and forwards when it comes to that creativity and Liverpool's defence has been pretty solid so far this season. Now I'd also look to get on board the Manchester City defence that have conceded just nine shots on target all season and it's Cancelo that stands out to me at the moment. He's played every single minute so hopefully he can avoid that dreaded pep rotation and he's third among defenders for shots this season with 10. Now Chelsea are embarking on a great run of fixtures now and a player that's played every minute in their defence is Antonio Rudiger. They've kept four clean sheets this season which ranks them second after Manchester City so well worth having him in there as well. Now we always need some cheaper budget enablers on the bench and two that stand out are Southampton's Livramento and Wolves Marcel. Now both of these players have got great upcoming fixtures. They're very cheap as well. Livramento has chalked up one assist this season. Marcel has two assists so they're excellent bench fillers to include on your wild card. Looking at the midfield then, Mo Salah is an absolute must-have right now. He scored in six of seven games which makes him the highest scoring fantasy player this season and incidentally it's his best ever start to a fantasy season as well. Over the last four games he's top for shots on target with 10 and he's also top for big chances with 7. He's on penalties as well, you cannot go without him. Now it's great to see so many budget midfielders that we can also use in our squads though to allow us to afford the likes of Mo Salah. The first being Leeds United's Rafina. He's had 13 shots in his last four games and 10 key passes as well, which just highlights his ability to get both goals and assists in this attacking Leeds United outfit. Another player that's caught the eye is Watford's Ishmael Assar. He's second for shots on target with seven in the last four games and also with big chances he's registered five. He is the main man in this Watford side. He's also on penalties, so... When Watford do the business and perform, it's likely that Ismail Assar will be among the goals. My final midfielder in this 3-4-3 is going to be Brentford's Mbomo. He has got excellent upcoming fixtures um, and he's been so attacking as well. Two goals in his last three games and four big chances in the last four as well. He's got a great link up with Ivan Toney and... In this 3-4-3 formation, my final bench player would be Aston Villa's Douglas Louise. Of all the players that started the season as a 4.5 midfielder, he looks the most attacking at the moment. He's registered 11 key passes for the season, which puts him top of all midfielders, priced 5 million and under. So certainly a good player to have on your bench that can come off if needed. Looking at the forward line now then, West Ham's Mikel Antonio really stands out. He had an excellent start to the season. He scored five goals across six games. Only Mo Salah has a better attacking output him 
in FPL this season. He's also registered 10 shots in the box in his last four games, which ranks him very well in the rankings as well. I'd also look to include Romelu Lukaku, who's currently flagged, but hopefully he will be available for game week eight. Chelsea's fixtures are fantastic and you could easily be captaining him in most of his upcoming games. Form's been a bit lacking recently, but hopefully a little bit more rest over the international break will have done him good. And my final pick on the wildcard up front would be Wald Raul Jimenez. He's back in form now. One goal and two assists in his last three games. Also in that period, he's ranked for four big chances and three big chances created, which highlights his ability to get both goals and assists, and he should be on penalties as well. That's it then for the FPL Game Week 8 wildcard team and how it would line up this weekend in FPL, probably with the captaincy on Lukaku if he's fit and vice-captaincy on Salah. I hope you found the video useful. If you've got any questions on Wildcard or anything else, do get in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. And as always, good luck for FPL Game Week 8.